Today we're going to talk about hand protection. Potential hand hazards are everywhere in fabrication shops. There are a myriad of pinch points, sharp edges, opportunities to get caught up in equipment, and plenty of potential burn hazards. And there is a tendency to become desensitized to the hazards when performing similar tasks day after day. However, there are safe work practices you can follow to help you protect yourself from hand injuries. For example, try to stay cognizant of hand hazards and the consequences of where you're about to place your hands. Every time you see a cut resistant glove, welding glove, or chemical protection glove, remind yourself to stay aware of the shop's potential hand hazards. Look materials over carefully before you reach for them. Look for sharp and jagged edges, especially where you plan to grip them. Wear sturdy, weld gloves at all times in the shop, unless you have to take them off to weld. Just remember to put them right back on as soon as you remove your welding gloves. Always wear welding gloves when performing torch cutting, arc gouging, or welding. Before you use any type of power tool or machine, make sure the guard or guards are properly in place. If a guard or guards are missing, don't use the machine until they've been replaced. If guards are present, make sure they're in good condition, positioned properly and secured in place before you start the machine. If guards are missing or damaged, don't use the machine. Follow your company's procedures for taking defective equipment out of service until the necessary replacements and or repairs are completed. When working with chemicals that could be harmful to your skin, be sure to wear the appropriate types of glove, type of gloves. For acids and solvents, which are common in prefab shops, use neoprene gloves or perhaps nitrile gloves, depending on the solvent. If you're not sure of what type of glove to use for a specific chemical, check the exposure controls and personal protection, protection section of the safety data sheet for the chemical substance that you are about to use. When you're about to start grinding, select gloves that will provide some protection from the abrasive wheel and also from the sparks. Leather gloves work well for grinding as do some types of cut resistant gloves. Just make sure that whatever you do choose doesn't cause you to lose a great deal of dexterity. These are just a few tips to help you avoid hand injuries as you work in the fabrication shop.